Now to the pandemic, and the United States has issued travel advisories for Germany and Denmark due to rising COVID cases. The two countries joined several other European nations on the CDC's do not travel list, including Austria, Britain, Belgium, Greece, Norway, Switzerland, Romania, Ireland, and the Czech Republic. World Health Organization predicts Europe overall could reach more than 2.2 million COVID deaths by March of next year. Well, the good news is that COVID vaccines are now available for children ages five and up. The bad news is that COVID cases in children have risen by 32% from just two weeks ago. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us why this is happening and what parents can do to protect their kids. It seems contradictory. Pediatric coronavirus cases spiking just as the country rushes to vaccinate children ahead of the winter holiday and the cold and flu season. One reason is that as COVID continues to spread, a smaller proportion of the childhood population has been vaccinated compared to adults. Associate Professor of Pediatrics at Columbia Children's Hospital says there are also other drivers. People are loosening their restrictions or loosening restrictions at schools or people are getting back together more. Um, it all sort of compounds and confounds itself. Those loosened restrictions will drive infections at schools, at home and other gatherings. Still about three in 10 parents say they will definitely not get the vaccine for their five to 11 year olds. About the same proportion as parents who say they will immunize their child right away. The reluctance may be due to the misconception that kids either don't get or get a very mild case of COVID. Not so. They get sick with high fevers. They are in the hospital for a long time. There are pediatric COVID deaths. There's also the long-term effects. There's long COVID, which is affecting large numbers of children. There's myocarditis, which is very common with COVID in children, um, much more common than with the vaccine. There is MISC, which is the inflammatory condition after COVID. It is true that it's too late for kids to be fully vaccine protected by Thanksgiving. That takes two weeks after the second dose. So if they start now, though, they'll be fully protected by Christmas. And remember, they'll also be partially protected almost right away. So get that shot right now. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And this afternoon, the New York City Council passed a bill to guarantee four hours of paid leave so parents can accompany their children to get a vaccine and care for them if they have side effects.